Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Monday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is April the 11th, 2016. Guess what? Today is also known as 8-Track Tape, Barbershop, Quartet, and National Submarine Day. At the time of writing this, 7.31 p.m. Eastern Time, we have experienced 214 earthquakes. This brings our monthly total to 2,983. We experienced multiple magnitude 5 earthquakes today, all of which fell right along the Pacific Plate care of the Ring of Fire. The strongest struck Boulder, Alaska. This was a 5.5. Heading beyond the North Pacific Ocean, we see that Taiwan was struck with a 5.2. Port Ulri, Vanuatu was hit by a 5.0, as was Palau. We clocked in 9 magnitude 4 earthquakes today. The normal locations were struck. This includes Hachijojima, Japan, with a 4.8. Papua New Guinea registered a 4.8 and a 4.6. Indonesia was rocked by a 4.3. And New Zealand experienced a 4.8. If we head to the eastern lip of the Ring of Fire, we'll see that Santa Maria Exadani, Mexico, was struck by a 4.7. And in South America, Calama, Chile, clocked in a 4.0. The remaining magnitude 4 struck Greece today. This was a 4.6. If we look solely at the numbers, we'll see that earthquake activity appears to be about normal in Alaska. They have clocked in 40 thus far, the majority of which struck Cantwell and Talkinta. Washington hasn't varied from its recent routine. We have had 8 strike the Evergreen State. We experienced a 1.2 in Enumclaw, a 1.3 in Riverbend, and a 1.5 in Waller. Outside of this, Amboy experienced three, all of which were incredibly minor, the average magnitude being a 0.2. Finally, Packwood registered two. Both were also minor. The average magnitude was a 0.08. Oregon has not been quiet today. Eight earthquakes have been logged in thus far. I think you'll find it interesting that two of which fell within the magnitude 3 category. A 3.6 that struck Bandon and a 3.3 in Lakeview. We also experienced a noteworthy 2.3 in Milton Freewater. According to the USGS, this was an explosion of sorts. California has chalked up 88 so far. The geysers once again to experience the most movement with 19. Anza and Mammoth Lakes follow this up, each clocking in 9 earthquakes. The strongest quakes to strike the state originated from Santa Cruz with a 2.5, Morgan Hill also with a 2.5, and Cavello with a 2.3. Nevada has also been busy today. 30 earthquakes have struck so far, 17 of which struck Hawthorne. The strongest to hit the Silver State was a 0.9 just outside of Gerlock Empire. By the way, that's a great name. Idaho clocked in a 1.9 just outside of Cascade. Montana has been busy with 8 earthquakes thus far, the strongest being a 1.3 that struck Butte. If we look to Wyoming, we'll see that they have had 3 earthquakes today, the most intense there being a 2.3 in Hobok. Oklahoma has been quiet with only a 3.2 that struck Helena. Our pals in Tennessee continue to experience movement. This time around, Greenback experienced a 1.7. Finally, our friends in Thedford, Nebraska, of all places, clocked in at 3.2 this morning. This is a rather odd event, as this area is not known for its earthquakes. In fact, since 1931, we have only clocked in three. I bet this event is the talk of the town. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you'd like to chat, please post down below. We'd like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined, also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys.